Walk into a room believing in what you're bringing, not what you are. My name is Patricia, Patricia Ithal. I am a many things, I think, through, through my life. I think the most thing that I could say I am is I am a supporter of women. Um, I think I have lived my life believing that um, in whatever way I can, I can be a role model for women and particularly women in the corporate world. I think if anybody asked me what has been my goal in life and what it is that I want it to be, that would be it. Uh, my career started um, at the multinational called Unilever, um, big organization, uh, consumer products, everything else. And I cut my teeth predominantly in the marketing field. Um, when I started as a management trainee, then worked my way up, uh, brand manager, marketing manager, till the time I left as a marketing director. I think um, I really cut my teeth in a space that I really enjoyed. And that was that whole space of, you know, understanding what it takes um, to build big, incredible brands. Um, and create um, amazing stories, which we call campaigns, um, to tell the story of that business. And in telling that story and in telling what those brands speak about, really allowing consumers to enjoy them more. And at the end of the day, what that does is it grows you and your business. Um, when I started my career, I think um, I always remember the fact that in my group, um, when we were recruited that particular year from the university, I was the only woman. Um, so we were nine management trainees, eight men, one woman, and um, I was the only woman. The question that's always asked is what does it feel like to be the only woman amongst men? And um, in my career I've had a lot of times when I've been the only woman amongst men. And the biggest insight that I had from all those experiences is even in instances where men came in to a room and perhaps were women. They never walked in feeling, I'm a man. So I always ask myself, so why should I walk in saying I'm a woman? Actually, we're all persons, we're all humans, we're all beings who are coming in. And when we walk into that particular space, we're bringing in something. We're bringing in, be it our capability, our competence, our experience. And you have to get into that space that you are walking in as a human being, as a person, not as a woman. Because the minute you do that, it's in effect, you're starting to tell yourself that I'm different and maybe I don't deserve to be there or maybe I need to prove myself. I mean, I don't believe in all that. We're all bringing something on the table. And whatever gender you are, and, and these days there are many genders, I must admit, um, you're all bringing something to the table. So walk into a room believing in what you're bringing, not what you are. If you're really, really conscious to it, you will notice the times when um, there's a subtle messaging that you are a woman or that perhaps because you're a woman, um, this is not for you. I always think of a situation and I'll share the exact response that I gave. Um, this was an opportunity where I guess I was looking to um, take other responsibilities, other board opportunities and everything else. And you it, invariably, sometimes you have to speak um, to if there's a chair or whatever to let them know that there's this opportunity. I want you going to take it up. And I remember the message was, oh, aren't you doing too much? Isn't it too much? Now, the person who was telling me this had four times more what I was asking for the one. So, and there were other colleagues who had exactly the same. So I think my first thought was, oh my goodness, is it because I'm not coming across? Am I not doing well? Am I not? But after thinking about it, and I think for me, one of the beauties is that um, I have somebody at home called my husband who um, has over the years had to bear with all my this and that and everything else. And I go and I tell him, oh, this is what this guy is. And you know, he straight away said, oh, it's because you're a woman. You know, he doesn't think he's probably thinking, you know, um, you have to be home if you're taking more. How in the world do you take care of that? And it hadn't occurred to me. To me, I was thinking that maybe I'm not competent. Maybe there's something that's come across. And w against that backdrop, um, I think the one thing that I've learned when I listen to situations like that 
instead of bringing all the emotion, bring out the facts and ask. Okay, so I went back and I asked him, but you do five, you do six, you do eight times more. So tell me what it is that you do differently that would allow you to do it and where you think that I can't do it. And you know, he hustled and bumbled and everything else. And so it did transpire that there was a sense. And um, I think for me, that was a very telling moment. So now every time I get the sense that somebody is bringing something up as a woman, instead of attacking it that way, I look at you and I say, tell me what it is perhaps that you do better, that I perhaps can learn from you, yes? so that I'm also able to do it. So you're detracting and you're being very, very polite in terms of telling somebody that, okay, um, let's remove the biases.